Howdy there, my friends. It's Glenn with the almost world famous Cactus Atlas. And today we're gonna to be spending the night in the Sonoran Desert at Alamo Primitive Campground and Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. I stand here at the entrance of the Alamo Primitive Campground, and this is the dirt road that you take from the main paved route, um, just like I think about three miles or so, and I think any vehicle can make this drive no problem. Um, a few small minor washboards, but you're basically in a national park or a National Park Service managed uh, monument. So you know how it is, they're, they're usually as good as pavement, and I would agree this one is. I realized driving in that you're basically driving straight into the heart of one of the thickest saguaro forests I've ever experienced. You know, kind of the likes of what you might find around Tucson. Um, but the cool thing is, is there's another type of cacti intermingled with the saguaro. And we're probably not in their preferred habitat here at the campground, but I do see a few. And that would be the organ pipe cactus right there and it's native habitat that's very important um, very this is where they exist naturally and we're very close to the mexican border and therein lies the thing that makes organ pipe such a special place is that it's the only place in the united states where you can actually see the organ pipe cactus in its natural habitat they they exist in larger numbers the further south you go into mexico but it's really a magical thing, even though in the Phoenix area, I think some of our neighbors have those types of things as uh, landscaping, but this is where they exist naturally. And these are the mountains of which I didn't even study, which is a shame. There's lots of signs here that'll probably help us, but we're basically in a place called Alamo Canyon, and there's a trail that goes into the canyon, which we're gonna explore on this episode. Um, not that far, maybe a mile, mile and a half, I read, to the remains of an old ranching operation. There's an old building out there, an old brick building, and maybe even the remains of some adobe. So it fits in perfectly with the Cactus Atlas. I stayed at the main campground, the Twin Peaks campground, um, a few years back and did a video on it. That's it, but before 4K, when we were really first getting started, it's still out there and it's still a valid video. Um, this is way better though, I would say, um, much more secluded, but compared to Twin Peaks, which is a very sizable campground, good for RVs, stuff like that. This only has four sites and unfortunately, all four are currently occupied, including me. So I don't think we're going to be able to take a good look at some of the other sites, but they're all bunched together. So by looking at mine, you're going to get a good idea of all of them. It is a bargain to camp here. Um, I made my reservation on recreation.gov and it was indeed $16 for me, um, the standard price. So tent camping or truck campers only. So there you go. No RVs, trailers or generators permitted. You're limited to five people per site and ground fires are not allowed. Here's the entrance to the campground, um, Alamo campground. And then over to the left are the campsites. And I'm in campsite number one. And you see hopefully now the now familiar Cactus Atlas blue tent, the Coleman with dark room technology. I busted it out and it's gonna get lots of use in 2024. All right, so I'm being kind of quiet because I don't want to disturb folks, but it's time to do the camp and ground tour. It's going to be a quick one today, but we're going to take a look at my site, site number one, and the very few amenities you get here at Alamo Primitive Campground. It looks like every site is complete with towering saguaro, so we're, no short, we're not short on that amenity at this place, but pretty standard fare for your uh, National Park campground as usual. So I've got a few things set up here, but basically there were, I wasn't sure when I looked at the website because it looked like there was a lot of grass growing in the pictures they took, but there are cleared out areas. There were two places big enough for my uh, pretty large tent and there's still room to spare. 
And if that's not good enough here at Site 1, there's also another really nice spot over here uh, with some small gravel in it. Might be kind of a nice softer spot for a smaller tent, but point is you could get a couple tents in here, no problem. And this should give you a pretty good idea of your average size of your parking space here. They all look the same. So you could see Slim, my Chevy Colorado ZR2 for scale. Um, you're not going to get a really big rig in here, but if you have some kind of overlanding vehicle, this would be a pretty sweet spot, I'd say. So they do have these stand-up grills, and my bet is, is that a lot of the year, I bet you can't build a fire here. There's probably fire restrictions, but still kind of in spring, we've had a lot of rain, so I didn't read about any fire restrictions, and somebody left some firewood here, but they don't have ground fires though. That's the only thing you can't do. So you have to build them in these uh, taller grills. And you get a picnic table, of course, a wooden one here. And finally, you can see what I chose to do with my tent. If it gives you any ideas if you wanna stay in site number one. I basically just picked what was available. It would be wrong of me not to point out the really large uh, organ pipe cactus in my backyard. A lot of shrubbery here. Wouldn't be surprised if you got a lot of snakes and other things, so hopefully my tent is sealed up tight. All right, so let's go look at the restroom. They do have a restroom here, so to me that's making it a step above primitive to me, but We'll see if it's in good order. They do have handicap parking here with a ramp up to the restrooms, just FYI. Vault toilet. So I would say as far as vault toilets go, it's your standard fare. I would say it's clean and there's plenty of toilet paper. Um, no hand sanitizer though, as you may have saw on the sign, or soap or anything else, so just toilet paper. And a clean, um, odor-free, I would also remark, National Park Vault Toilet. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out of here before people think I'm crazy. And other than that, I'll just do kind of a quick scan, I'm not gonna invade people's uh, privacy, but you can see this is Alamo Campground. That would be site number three. We saw site number four at first, and there's two, my neighbors, and then one. And that is all there is to it. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do now is it's about 4.45 p.m. Sunset's around 7 p.m. I think I'm gonna hydrate a little bit, maybe munch on something, and then uh, we'll try to go find that historic stuff and uh, before the sun goes down. I read online about this hike and read the facts. And I've already forgotten them. Luckily, there's an interpretive sign right here to assist with that, hopefully. So right off of the Alamo campground is the aptly named Alamo Canyon Trail. And basically we're going to be seeing an old uh, ranching operation, maybe some leftovers of a mining operation, but basically a lion shack is what it's called, this brick structure. And there's some adobe ruins somewhere near these that we'll seek out. Um, not a difficult trail, doesn't look too bad, it's rated as easy. Um, 1.8 miles long, um, round trip that is, so it's springtime in the Sonoran Desert also, it's beautiful. So we'll enjoy the very green and lush desert in its current form before it gets really hot and this stuff becomes kindling. This is maybe a good way also to introduce you to the terrain that we're camping in and tell you a little bit about it. We are but miles from the Mexican border. When it comes to organ pipe, this campground's a little further north and away from the border. Uh, I don't know how many miles exactly. I'm gonna guess maybe 15 or something. 
Um, so not like right there. I've been a lot closer in recent times in my adventuring. But you'll see signs um, in organ pipe and areas like this, you know, cautioning you to watch out and to report any kind of smuggling or what appears to be smuggling or illegal activity. And I wouldn't let that scare you. I know some people are really scared of that. And watch our channel. Over time, you'll see me literally in places crossing over into Mexico where there are no uh, borders on one video, um, you know, and I don't really run into problems. I'm not discounting that something couldn't happen one day, but for the most part, these are very remote regions and I've, I've never personally experienced any sightings yet, but there's still time. Here's an interesting specimen, a giant organ pipe in its natural element. Organ pipes are also no joke in terms of size. They are quite large. I might estimate that to be like maybe 25 feet tall or something like that. And like all of the wonderful cacti and things here in the Sonoran Desert, they have their prickers and you do not want to mess with any of that stuff. It, it burns and it hurts and it's very unpleasant. These things just get bigger and bigger the further we go back and certainly more abundant as we look up this way as I mentioned earlier. The Oregon Pipe Cactus, Arizona. Here we are, what was called the Lion Shack, I think, or Lion House. Part of the ranching operation that a husband and wife uh, team did. I'm gonna guess, the sign didn't say, but my remembrance, I'm gonna guess probably 1930s is when I would guess. There's a lot of that happening back here, but I um, mean, this is a very sturdy, modern looking structure compared to what we usually see, which is usually mud brick but it's fantastic to find this all the way out here in this very remote location the more i learn about ranching and just living out there it sounds like a lot of hard work i am sure it is and i always surmise when i come visit these places oh how lucky these people were and how uh, much they must have enjoyed their view every day and i'm sure there were some days where they stopped and smelled the creosote so to speak but it's probably a really hard time and it the scenery probably got pretty old and the ruggedness of dealing with out here in the heat and um, probably was not fun at times i admire those that did this all right let's go explore inside we will check out the interior of the lion shack An old window and windowsill and the wood still there and intact all this time later there's some metal braces or something up there. Sturdy construction, I would say. Sturdier than what we usually see on the channel, that's, that's for sure. Ah, it's being in the shade in here, it's nice and cooling and quiet. Kind of blocks out the wind a little bit. Not very windy, but there's a little bit of a breeze. But yeah, just imagine one room shack, probably was a bed, a table, and other things. I don't know if there's a fireplace in here. I don't see evidence of anything. Doesn't mean there wasn't like a wood burning stove or something in here. Or maybe even electricity. Who knows? There are a few rusted artifacts laying about here, like this rusty bucket. It looks like a bucket. I don't know what that is. Some metal implement. Another rusty pieces of metal and cans. Not too many. 
But it's interesting to think, were those the same cans that uh, the original owners ate out of or drank out of? Who knows? at sunset here in uh, Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. Good morning from the Sonoran Desert. A little bit chilly this morning, but not bad. Spring is definitely here. I'm in the process of breaking down camp, so forgive the mess. I saw one of the patrons pulled out this morning and left, so we have a site we can go check out really quick. I know we're not doing things in the proper order, but at least we can go look at one other site. Here's site three, one of the four sites, and at least we get to see another one. Um, like I said, each one has a small driveway, same size. You saw the sign, it's really meant for tent campers and truck campers. And this one has a tent pad, as they call them, right back here. Plenty of room to put up a tent and about the same privacy as everyone else is gonna have here. And that's site four with the van. All right, folks, um, there you have it, Alamo Campground. I've packed up the camp. 
everything is ready to go and I'm ready to hit the road. Fantastic little campground. Um, I have not enough good things to say about it as usual on the show. Highly recommend it. Organ Pipe National, Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. Did I say it right? Um, highly recommended. Make it out here sometime if you can. See you next time.